Hello and welcome to Castles and Legends. We're in South Wales at our second castle for the day. This is Dinavura Castle. The last castle we were at, it was raining, it was cold, but it was an amazing castle. Now the sun is out, so let's go explore and discover the history. The castle's history is shrouded in mystery. The exact origins of the castle are unknown, but it is believed to date back to at least the 12th century and was built by Rhysab Griffith, the ruler of the Kingdom of Deoberth in Wales. The castle is situated upon a high wooded ridge, offering stunning views of the Powy Valley below. The find of Roman artefacts in the area have caused some to believe that the never was the site of a Roman fort, but no other evidence backs these claims up. According to legend, the first castle was built by Rodri the Great in the mid 9th century, but no archaeological evidence has been found. The earliest historical reference to a castle at the never dates back to the 12th century, and the castle is thought to have been built by Rhysab Griffith, the ruler of the ancient kingdom of the Heiberth. Rhys also constructed the nearby castle of Carrickennan, which we visited. Check out our video on our channel exploring the castle, its history and its secret tunnel. During Rhys's reign, King Henry II of England invaded the Heiberth. In response, Rhys formed an alliance with Owen Gwyneth and quickly recovered his lands. There is a tale that during King Henry II's campaigns against Rhys, he planned to attack and seize the Never Castle. Henry sent one of his men to investigate. The man consulted a local Welsh cleric to discover the easiest route to the castle, but instead the cleric took the most arduous one and concluded the trip by stopping to eat grass explaining that this was the customary diet of locals in difficult times. The planned attack on the castle was quickly discarded. Rhysab Griffith made peace with Henry and a short time of harmony began, but following Rhys's death in 1197, his sons fought over the succession. Llewellyn the Great of Gwynedd took advantage of these troubled times extending his influence into the area. In 1216, Llewellyn forced the division of the Kingdom of the Heiberth between Rhys's three sons. Rhys Greek inherited the castle, but the Kingdom of the Heiberth was divided and its status diminished. It is even said that Llewellyn forced Rhys to dismantle the castle and then he rebuilt it. Whether this story is true or not is unknown, but it was during the early 13th century that the castle was rebuilt in stone, the main addition being a strong ground keep at the east end of the inner bailey. In 1255, Llewellyn the Last bestowed the Never upon Rhys Vicarn, only to later transfer it to Meredith Ap Rhys and subsequently return it to Rhys Vicarn. However, Meredith, aligning himself with King Edward I of England, forged an alliance, and his son, Rhys at Meredith, aided Edward in seizing control of the Never in 1277. Allegedly, Rhys had been assured ownership of the castle as gratitude for his assistance, yet Edward failed to uphold his promise and had Rhys executed in 1291. The castle was now under control of the English crown. Following the Edwardian conquest, repair works were carried out on the bridge, tower and hall. The ditches were cleaned out and a new gate was added, along with various other small buildings which were constructed in the outer ward. In 1317, the castle was briefly given King Edward II's favourite, the hated Hugh Despenser. 
By 1403, the castle had fallen into a state of disrepair, but it still managed to withstand the siege by Owain Glendor during his rebellion. Following the Battle of Bosworth in 1485, which was a deciding battle in the War of the Roses, King Henry VII granted the castle to Rhys Ab Thomas. Rhys had raised an army to support Henry during the battle and remained loyal to Henry, supporting him in later battles. In 1531, the castle and lands were again confiscated by the crown after Rhys's grandson, Rhys Ab Griffith, was convicted of treason and beheaded by King Henry VIII. The family were later able to reclaim the castle, but in 1600, the current Newton House was built nearby. The castle's keep was modified and briefly used as a summer house, but this was badly damaged in the 18th century and the castle was left to fall into complete ruin afterwards. The castle is looked after by Cadu. The car park is about 15 minutes away and that is actually National Trust. So it's a 15 minute walk but it is a very nice walk through some woodland with some nice views and what we reach at the end is well worth it. And this place, bonus, it is free except for parking. But if you're a National Trust member, parking is free as well. So I've enjoyed having a look around. I hope you have enjoyed looking around with me as well. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe if you've not already. And I hope to see you at the next castle. Bye for now.